What's up guys? Welcome back. As you can see from the title, I got a new downpipe. I'll throw in a, a few clips here from the other night. So loud, I'm not even trying. Ridiculous. I don't know, probably the pipe moving around. No. Okay, and I'll, I'll get a couple more clips once I get the car up on jack stands and show you guys what's going on a little bit closer. But uh, basically, I was doing a pull and I heard a pop and uh, you know, pull over on the side of the road. Down pipe snapped right before the cat. So, uh, better than the motor being broke, right? I thought the motor went. <laughs> so, anyway, I posted on a couple of the pages and I was suggested by my friend Brian to get this track slag downpipe is a four inch to 3.5 to three inch downpipe catless. So, I mean, overall, even if, cause it, it does kind of taper down kind of quick, but uh, even just going catless alone should be a little bit of gains. And uh, just being a bigger pipe in general should help with heat and it, they claim to help with spool and I'll take all the spool I can get being at, you know, 4,200 feet static. I think, um, What's today? It should be like 80 something today, and the DA is probably going to be close to like 9,000 or more. So um, let's get this package open, see how she looks, and I'm going to throw the car up on jacks. I'll uh, give you guys a couple more sound clips, show you what's broken, and we'll remove the old one, put this on. I don't know if this is going to be a direct bolt up to my Remus exhaust. Um, well, we'll see. I know the muffler place in town is open, so we'll see. We'll see what we got to do. First things first, we got some stickers here. Sent us two. Very nice. And then we got the uh, clamp here. Normal stuff. We got the pipe after. They even tell you which way it's supposed to flow. And then you got the main guy here. What does that say? I actually ordered a new, um, whatever it's called, mount for this from ShopDap. It ain't here yet, but uh, I'll be reusing. Mine's all like torn up and everything, so we'll have a new one here within the next week or so. And then they use like an OEM style flex pipe. It's very nice. It's very very flexy. Oh, yeah, this thing is dope. It is huge. I can't wait to take the other one off and compare it side by side. But these welds are very very nice. Nice V band. It's a very nice piece. And like you can fit. I mean, my fist is in there. <laughs> yeah, it's a. I can't get it through the initial, but as soon as you get in, it's like boom. So, I know it's quite a bit bigger. We'll have to take the uh, exhaust wrap off the old one and give it a look. I don't know. I do want to get this heat coated instead of exhaust wrap, but I don't believe there's anyone local that can do it with this whole corona thing. So I might wind up take, taking this back out <coughs> one of these board weekends and wrapping it or getting it coated. We'll see how everything pans out. But so far, so great. I'm about to go get the car on jacks. We'll pull the old one off. I'll give you some or give you a sound clip real quick, but I don't want it to get too hot because I'm gonna be under there working. So nice. All right, got the car jacked up all on stands. Get down in here. You can see. Uh, well, kind of. It's dark, but it's definitely broken right there. But I'm gonna start it up real quick for you. I'm not gonna this way. 
I'm not gonna start it for very long. For one, the car's angled like all crazy, and uh, I don't want the exhaust to get too hot. But you can really hear it like a lot on a cold start, especially. Let's shut that off and get under the car. I know the one band clamp is kind of messed up. It was angled funny and it got hit by something that I ran over. So we'll see how that goes. I might have to cut that thing off. Well, first things first here, fellas. The Revo downpipe is V-banded to my Remus exhaust. So that's what I thought, but I couldn't exactly remember. And you can see it's bent. So I'm gonna have to hit that with a hammer, try and knock it straight, try and get it off. And then uh, it's just a matter of getting it off this guy right here, and then uh, you know it's broken, so it should come out pretty easily. And then do the top portion just to six mil off the turbo. Well, we're definitely gonna have to try and get to an exhaust shop today and uh, get it mated together. I don't even know how it's gonna like fit fit to even drive because that it's like about a foot long off the off the hanger here, so it's probably gonna hang out around here somewhere and. Well, it's going to be a mission. Well, we got that off after a nice fight. Bent the shit out of it. It's definitely going in the trash. I was thinking about trying to get the V-band welded to the new one, but I don't know. Guess not. I don't think I'm going to be able to find any of these clamps locally. All right, so we got the O2 unplugged here up top, the black one. Boom. Sent it down the side. Now it's a 13 mil for that bracket that's like uh, on the subframe. We'll get that out and then the bottom broken half should come right out. And then we'll do the six mil on the turbo V-band. And then the other half should pull out the top. Then we can do a little comparison. And I'm gonna call the exhaust shop. Hopefully I can get in there today and we can get something sorted. I want this done today. And get back to normal driving. I mean, this thing's kind of cool. Being loud and spooly, but uh, it's obnoxious and I'm just really excited to get this pipe off. These are the 13 mils I'm talking about. That one and that one. You can see how this is very, very worn. That's the, the new piece I ordered from ShopDap is this, this bracket in general. Hopefully it won't be hard to too hard to swap with the new one on there, but uh, yeah, it's broken. And with this beer, I know a guy, shout out to Alan. We're gonna try and get this Revo down pipe replaced from Revo and then give it away. Uh, don't quote me on that, but that's that's what we're gonna try and plan to do. I'd like to give this away to somebody, so hopefully that'll pan out. Let's get this off. Well, I determined that the O2 sensor was in the way. Um, I don't think it would be if I didn't have an O2 sensor adapter from when I wasn't stage two yet, so I had that uh, O2 adapter on there. So I pulled out the top one, and uh, this is all that I was running there. Just connects right to the turbo, boom can see the quite the difference here in pipe yeah wow that is uh looks like a little baby compared to that thing wow now you can kind of see what I'm talking about with this adapter I'm about to take the O2 sensor off and we'll be able to get it but uh you can see how she broke there this will be a fun time. All right, so that was a total semi pain in my butt. I'm all zoomed in here. Um, I didn't wind up taking the O2 sensor off. The pipe wanted to flex too much because it's still on the, on the flex side. But so I went to the bottom, took off the bracket, um, the rubber bracket that I said I'm replacing. I took it off of the downpipe and I was able to twist it 180 degrees and then it just slipped right out. So now I can give you guys a close up look here of the damage. You can see my, my wrap's all messed up because obviously where it's split, but uh, boom, you can see right here, she broke pretty good right at the cat. The cat doesn't seem like it's messed up at all, but she's off. And even like the fattest part of the cat, I don't think is even as big as 
this. Uh, it's a pretty nice comparison. You get only a little bit of flex on that compared to this. So I think that's probably part of the reason why uh, having stiff motor mounts and all that now, and probably just took a toll on it, mixed with heat. Um, I mean, I, this pipe was given to me by my buddy Ryan Sanders. Shout out to Ryan. Back when he went APR stage three, um, I think I took his car to the dealership to get it done while he was deployed. And uh, I didn't even have my Mark 7 yet. But when he got back from his deployment, he gave me this downplay for free along with uh, black emblems, uh, carbon fiber mirror caps, and I think a couple other things. So shout out to him. This, this downplay probably has over 100,000 on it because I put myself like 60 or 70 some thousand. So it, it's, it's had a life. But uh, yeah, now we got this new one. Looks so nice. I mean, that thing is... I mean, before it even goes down to the flex pipe, which I think this is where it goes down to three, yeah, because it kind of steps down. This right here is still, like, just as fat as the cat. So, I mean, the bends look about the same and everything. Oh, okay, so where this is, in comparison, I might just be able to get this chopped off at the exhaust shop and weld it on the here. And, uh, and then we can just V-band it. That would be dope. I don't know how this works because this kind of has a... I have to do some, some measuring here, but if I can do that, just get this V-band chopped, throw it on there. I don't know what the difference is in metals or anything, but that would be super dope. And I could take this V-band off and use that one since that's a good one. We'll see. I'm gonna get this O2 off, get that V-band off, and do some measuring real quick. All right, so this clamp will work if I can get that cut off and put on the end of this downpipe. This will mate right to my Remus. Hopefully it does. Got the O2 sensor off. It was a pain in my ass since it was cold. I still need to get the uh, 42 draft designs. O2 spacer off, but uh, yeah, got a little mess going on here. Probably should have been wearing gloves, dealing with this, the fibers in this make you real itchy, but I'm gonna go eat lunch real quick, call the exhaust shop, see if they can do that for me. It really shouldn't even be hard to do. Measure, cut, weld, slap the V-band on, call it a day. So after lunch, I'm gonna install the downpipe. Hopefully we can get this on the day. Fingers crossed. Well, this is turning out to be kind of a pain to get in here. Uh, oh boy, well, let's take a look. Got her part of the way in, under the coil packs and the coolant line here to try and give it a little bit more room to squeeze. And it's right up against this cam actuator back there. I think if I could take that off, it would slide right in at this point. But the uh, little guy, the, the bolt right here, stripped, so. I'm kind of at a dilemma. Dang it. I'm going to have to pull it back out and really try and get this out. I think it'll pop right in. It's right up against it there. Dang it. This thing is fat. Real fat. So I did take out that little cam actuator thing I was talking about. I was using the wrong size. That's why it was stripping. It's a T25, not a T20. FYI. Now I should be able to... Mostly, slip this baby on in. God damn it. Oh. Almost there. So close. And then the heat shield for the drive shafts in a way. I believe it's an 8 mil. I'm gonna try and buzz that off real quick. Then it should go on. I'm in a time crunch, so I'm trying to hurry up. Exhaust shop closes possibly at four, but they said they might be open until five. It's like 3.30, so I'm trying to hurry up. I need to get over there. This is being a pain in my butt. Well, I was trying to do this quick and easy-ish way. Ain't working out. So I'm gonna have to remove the drive shaft, push it out of the way. You gotta undo the two very front dog bones that connect to the motor. Take those two nuts out, swing the motor a little bit with the drive shaft bolts already out. Swing the drive shaft over, then you can pull the, the downpipe through. This is uh, becoming a pain in my butt. 
I'm not going to make it to the exhaust shop now because I was trying to skip steps and make this work. But this pipe is just so damn thick that it won't fit through there. So exciting. I'll try and show you things, but I'm dirty and don't really want to touch the camera too much. You guys have seen probably a thousand downpipe installs, but you have to do it the good old fashioned way. There's no getting away with it, even though it doesn't have a cat uh, with the bracket for the uh, that goes on the subframe there. It's still not enough room. All right, huge shout out to the roommate here. Ah, all right, so he pried on the motor and I pulled on the drive shaft and pushed it out of the way. Now this thing should go right in. Didn't record it. I can't fit the camera under there and two people in all these arms, there's no point. But uh, I'll link Humble Mechanics video for downpipe stuff. He's got it up on a lift. Shows you exactly what to do. If you're watching me, uh, you already know I'm a mechanic. You probably already watched the video anyway, but watch that. Or shop app, you know, whatever. And now this baby should slide right on in. The exhaust shop's probably already closed, but at least it'll be in. Get it done first thing in the morning. Well, I skipped out on a bunch of things, and I apologize. There just isn't much room under there, especially when you got two people paying the butt. But we did wind up moving the drive shaft over. And bringing the downpipe from under the car up, went right in, got all the heat shields back on, all that junk. So she's in now, nice and tight. Only thing I did messed up is I was trying to make clearance here by moving the uh, coolant line and stuff to try and make room to get in here. So I took the coal pack tops off and, well, I broke one. So I'm just waiting on the connector, I'm waiting for my buddy so I can go look in his things because they're all copper. And I don't have any copper ones, only I have like silver, silver ones. So, hoping he has a copper one and I can fix that real quick. But the downpipe is in, and boy, oh boy, I mean, that thing is fat as heck. I mean, it's almost like on this ABS shield. Well, it's pretty much on it, on it. Um, hopefully, that doesn't cause any problems. We'll keep an eye out for that. I do want to get it coated, but like I said, I don't know. I. Stuck a nut on the back of this because it likes to come loose. So I want to make sure that doesn't happen. Doesn't want, I don't want to create an exhaust leak. But I mean, she's in there. She's huge. Did did take quite a bit of my day. Did not not making it to the exhaust shop today. We're gonna throw all the stuff in the car, get it ready for the morning, get there as soon as they open, and get that uh, V band welded on. Then I can give you guys a uh, a nice sound test. I will start it here in a bit. Let you guys sound it without it. Um, hear it without connected to the downpipe, but I'm gonna wipe this thing up. I gotta fix this connector before I even am able to start the car and then we can go from there. But the quality of it's dope, it's definitely nice, it's really, really nice. I'm excited to see uh, if it makes, it makes a difference in spool and heat and stuff. So stay tuned, we'll see. All right, so just replaced the ground for that coal pack, see how she starts. Just got the exhaust fixed up. We didn't wind up welding the V-band from the old one. I was gonna cut the V-band off the old downpipe and then uh, weld it to the new one, but we decided just to cut it to size and then uh, cut off the old V-band and just use the clamp. That way I can take this old exhaust. I got a buddy of mine um, that said that they could probably get it warrantied, and I wanna do that to try and give away the, uh, the downpipe. I should be able to get a brand new downpipe out of it and then give it away, so more details to come on that. Hopefully we can make that happen. Um, either way, I mean, if we can't get it brand new, I'll give it away and then someone can just get it welded. I mean, it's a free 
mean, there's nothing wrong with it. The cat's still fine. I mean, you need a new O2 and a new um, bracket that goes on the, uh, whatchamacallit, on the subframe. But I uh, only drove like a minute to go to Walgreens real quick, but it, it sounds a lot better. Um, like more spool sound and whatnot. I haven't driven on the highway or anything yet, obviously. I'll let you know how that sounds. But uh, I'm going to go to my friend's house. Maybe she'll uh, record a clip for me real quick on here so you guys can hear like a little drive by. My car is extremely filthy. It sat out in the rain the other day. It was like a, a light rain and then it was real windy and I got the dirt on the on the rain. And anyway, it's Friday, so I'm gonna watch the car tonight. Hopefully get into some racing this weekend. I'm gonna try and get a couple clips like I said, and I'll let you guys know about the highway drone at the end of this video. And uh, that'll be the end of it. I'll be sure to have the link for this downpipe in the description. I got the option with the V-band and no cat. Um, it was 580 shipped. Altogether, shipping was like 90 bucks of it. And uh, it came from four days in the UK. So, there you go. So, the pops I'm getting right now are pretty ridiculous. You hear that? Nice. I know there weren't any ridiculous flybys or anything, but she does sound good and the pops are ridiculous. Definitely digging it. Um, maybe in some later videos or something I'll get some like walk pools or something, but uh, it's just early in the morning. It's like 10 in the morning. I'm not trying to annoy the neighbors. I got stuff to do. I got to go to work here in a little bit. So, hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Um, I'll come at the end of the video and let you know about the drone. I'll probably just bring the camera with me to work. So. On the highway on the way to work I don't feel or hear any extra vibration or drone I think the drone might actually be less uh, the most drone I had before was when the car was like about 78 to 80 mile an hour on the highway in six gear um, I can't get up to that speed right now there's my radar is going off there's probably a cop nearby but I, I don't think it'll be as raspy I don't I don't know I thought it would be more raspy without a cat, but I really, the only thing I notice is it doesn't seem any louder, like, in general, but the, I get more spool, so that's the only thing I can really say so far. I mean, it's only been welded up for maybe an hour, and this is the first time on the highway, so, I mean, sounds great, so, that's all I got. I'll get back to you guys again at the end of this video, and see if there's anything else I got to say, but... So great. All right, I'm gonna do some uh, revs in the garage for you guys real quick. Got a police officer lives right across the street, so I can't be too crazy with it. Then we'll go out to the road. I do data logs, and uh, I'll turn the GoPro on. I'll do uh, just a pull, nothing crazy. I'll do like a just a regular one, two, three, and then I'll get on it in third or something, so you guys can hear it. It doesn't sound all that much different, I think, at least from the cabin. Um, the most notable is spool. Uh, there's a lot more spool sound, but on the highway, I don't hear any additional drone, no additional vibrations. Oil temp hasn't changed at all. You, you know, you got a bigger pipe that isn't heat wrapped. Um, so that's good. What else do I got to say?
I think that's about it. We'll do that, and then I'll pop the data logs on the computer and see if there's any difference. We can talk about that for a moment, and then I'll close out this video. Too crazy. Getting on it on second gear like that, you can definitely tell there's lag that's has that's gone now. That's really nice. It's gonna be really nice in autocross, going on and off throttle, not as not waiting as long for it to get back on. Um, wow, it's actually very nice to feel. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Well, looking at the logs here, um, nothing too too crazy. I should bring the other one back up, but it's showing from. Uh, 2,500 RPM, it takes 500 RPMs to get the full boost in third gear. And I believe, actually, hold on. Wow, okay, so looking at the log, it's about three to 400 RPM less it takes to get the full boost in the same gear. So that's actually, wow. It's not a placebo then. What I felt in that second gear pool um, in the video there is real. I didn't really, I did boost, um, break boost in the video, so I was already in boost whenever I went. But, uh, wow, that looks about right. This is the third gear log I did, though. Wasn't really paying too much attention to the feel, you know, you had to deal with the laptop and stuff, but three to 400 RPM sooner, I mean, the, the data doesn't lie. I mean, that's going from a three inch catted to a four inch the tapers down but catless so there's gains there and it's i haven't gotten a, a tune updated to even reflect that so it could be even more potentially um i'll give you guys an update on that in the comments this video is going out monday today's friday so i'll probably at least get a revision in by by monday when this video goes out so i'll let you guys know in the comments if you want to know go ahead and ask now so i don't forget to put it in the comments um yeah overall 10 out of 10 pretty happy with it i would go with a zero out of 10 of doing a downpipe on jack stands not fun and if you have to bring a friend um bring a friend either way if you're on a lift um somebody to at least hold the wheel still wheels still while you take the bolts off the drive shaft there's no way of getting around taking the drive shaft not taking the drive shaft off or at least moving it out of the way is what i mean Unless you do have a downpipe like the Revo, which was nice. It was in three different pieces where you could bring half of it up through the bottom and then the other half through the top and they had a V-band in the middle. Um, that way you, you didn't have to move uh, the drive shaft. But if you're going from a stock downpipe to one of these, then you already have to move it out of the way anyway. So, um, yeah. It was 540 or 580 shipped. Got here in four days. Like I said, the link's in the description. Fits great, sounds good. I don't hear any extra rasp. Um, the, under the audio is kind of shit from this GoPro. It is used, I've had it for, <coughs> for 
three or so years, and then my buddy I got it from, God knows how long he had it for. I need to upgrade GoPros, but anyway, that's all I got. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Any questions you got, you already know what to do with those. Um, tell your friends to subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the flip-flop.